Uh, hello guys, uh, welcome to Nemtech channel. My name is Nehemiah and uh, guys, uh, today we are going to discuss on the data types. And I uh, guess uh, we shall also discuss uh, the build in data types in Python. And also we shall discuss how to get uh, data types and also how to set uh, data types. And I uh, guess uh, before we start, uh, if it's your first time to get into this channel, uh, please support me by subscribing. And uh, to the subscribers, I really appreciate very, very much. And uh, first of all, uh, what is data type? And so uh, since everything uh, is an object in Python programming, data types are the classes and uh, variables are the instances or object of, the, of those uh, classes. And then I guess uh, let's try to understand these uh, built in data types in Python. So uh, basically Python has the following data types are uh, built in by default, like uh, the text type you have the string, and uh, the numeric type you have the integers, you have the float, you also have the complex, and then uh, the sequence type we have the list, and then we have the tuple, and then we have the you know the range, and then at uh, the mapping type we have the you know dictionary, and then at uh, the set types we have the set and also the frozen set, then at uh, the boolean type we have the bool, and then at uh, the binary type uh, we have what you have the bytes, then a uh, byte array and also the memory view. We are using uh, PyCharm as our integrated uh, development environment for Python. And then I guess I want us to begin by first, you know, understanding how to get uh, this uh, data type. Like, uh, let's begin with a string. Like, uh, let's say, let me say x, and then uh, let me assign it to something like uh, 5. Let me assign something like uh, 50 or 50. And then uh, now, to get, you know, this uh, data type, we are going to use the print function. Uh, we are going to use the print. Uh, let me say print. And then I uh, open this normal bracket, and then uh, here let me say now type, and then I uh, guess uh, let me say type, then I uh, open again the brackets, and then uh, here let me say x, and then I uh, guess uh, now to run it, you we are going to click on this uh, you know run button, and then uh, we are going to run the app. Remember this the project that I was saying in the previous tutorial, and then uh, this the uh, run app. But I uh, guess you can always see that uh, we have the shortcut here, which is shift plus uh, F10. So uh, in the next uh, next time we shall be using this uh, you know, shortcut. So let me click on this uh, shift plus uh, uh, actually click on this uh, run app, and then I guess you can see here at the terminal we have what you have uh, the integer is our data type, and then I guess uh, let's try something else like uh, let's try uh, an integer here. So let me say let me give it something like uh, uh, actually a string. Let me try with a string. So let me use uh, this one. Let me say uh, something like uh, let me use my website www dot uh, name take name take uh, dot com. Remember, guys, in this website we are teaching these uh, programming courses for free. And then I guess uh, first of all, let me clear this uh, plus here. And then I guess uh, let me click on the shift plus uh, F10. You remember the shortcut? Uh, shift plus uh, plus uh, F10. And then I guess you can see here at the terminal the you know the data type is what uh, the string. So basically, this is how you can do it. You can get what this uh, you know data type and then i guess uh, let's try also with the float so uh, with the float i'm going to use uh, something like uh, let me say let me say something like a uh, 100.5 uh, well actually 0.5 let me say 0 0.40 and then i uh, do it click on shift uh shift plus f10 now to run these are uh, you know these are programs in our terminal and then i guess you can see here the, the data type is what uh, is, is the float and then I guess also let's try the you know the you know the complex. So with the complex we just write you know the you know the integer, but then we add what we add the j here, the small j. And then uh, let me click on shift plus F10. And then I guess you can see here at the time the data type sort is the is the complex. And then uh, let's try also with the you know with the list. So uh, with the list we use this uh, you know the square bracket. And then uh, let me say something like uh, let me say. Uh, man, let me say something like a man, and then I uh, here let me give it another one. Let me give it something like a uh, woman, woman, and then uh, the other one. Let me give it something like uh, a child. Uh, let me say child, and then I uh, guess when you click on the shift uh, plus uh, F10, and then uh, here at the time you know, guys, you're going to see that uh, you know the data that is what is a, is a list, and then uh, let's try also with a tuple. Now with the tuple is the same as you know the you know the list, but then we here we use what we use the you know this a normal bracket. We don't use the uh, angle bracket. Let me clear this angle bracket and change it to uh, this uh, you know normal bracket. Mm -hmm. Then I click on shift uh, plus what plus uh, F10, 
And then mm -hmm. again, you can see here the uh, uh, here the terminal. Uh, the tuple is what is our data type. So basically, this is how you can do it. You can get your data type. And then uh, let's try also with the range. Now uh, with the range, we begin with range. We just write uh, range. Uh, we just write uh, range. And then uh, let me add here uh, something like uh, let me say uh, something like uh, let me say fifty. Let me add the fifty. Then I click on shift uh, plus uh, F10. And then I guess you can see here the terminal the class the you know the data type so it is a range. And then uh, also uh, let's try also with the what with the dictionary. So uh, with the dictionary, let me say something like um, uh, first of all uh, for the dictionary, you're going to begin with the curly braces now. We are not using the normal bracket, we're using the curly braces. And then uh, let me say something like uh, let me say something like uh, name. Let me say name. And then uh, here, let me say what? Let me say first of all, create this uh, colon. And then uh, perhaps let me use my name. Let me say Nehemiah. Let me say Nehemiah. And then I do it. Create a comma here. And then uh, perhaps let me say age. Let me say age. Let me say age. And then uh, here at the age, let me give it something like uh, mm -hmm. no. Here you don't give it a comma. It's a colon again. So let me say something like. Uh, 23, 23. Then I guess you can see here uh, at the terminal the data type. So it's a, it's a dictionary. And so guys, uh, let's try also with the set. Now uh, with the set, now we begin with the with this, uh, you know, this uh, curly braces. So let me clear first of all this data here. Like uh, let me say here name. Let me say name. Then a uh, comma. And then uh, let me say something like uh, what? Let me say something like uh, uh, age. Let me say age. And then uh, what? And then uh, here, first of all, a comma. And then uh, perhaps let me say something like um, <laughs> or a tallness. There's something called tallness. Let me say um, gender. Let me say gender. Yeah. Let me say gender. And then I uh, do it. Click on shift uh, plus obtain the shortcut to run the you know these commands in our terminal. And then I guess you can see here the data type. So it is a set. And so let's try also with the you know the frozen set. So now with the frozen set, we just use this uh, normal bracket, but outside it is enclosed inside the, you know, the normal bracket here, just like this, the normal bracket. And then now it, it begins with what, what? It begins with a frozen set. So let me say a frozen, uh, let me say frozen set, frozen uh, set. And then I uh, guys do it, click on shift, and then a uh, plus, uh, plus uh, F10. And then I uh, guess you can see here at the terminal, the data type so is a frozen seat and then also let's try also uh, with the you know with the boolean so now uh, with the mm -hmm. boolean we use what to use basically boolean is the true or false you know as a you know statements you know so like uh, let me say use something like a true basically when you use true or false these are uh, uh, booleans when you click on shift plus uh, f10 and then i guess and then i guess you can see here at the terminal it is what is the boolean type you know data type and then uh, let's try also with the you know with the false i uh, remember guys uh, that uh, python is uh, case sensitive and i'm going to show you this in a few and then i guess you can see here in our terminal the you know the data type is what is a boolean uh, and i guess i uh, remember i see that uh, python is uh, case sensitive like uh, let me try to use uh, this small t like a uh, true uh, let me say true in small letter beginning with the small letter and then i click on shift uh, plus f10 is going to give us an error shift plus f10 and then i guess you can see here in our terminal we have the error here so the name error here and then at the name true is not uh, defined did you mean true so basically guys uh you know uh boolean with a uh, true is you know just like you know the uh preserved you know keyword in python you cannot use a small uh you know true when you use a small true it, it will give you an error like uh, also with the f when i say false and then i use what uh, false in small letter, then I click on shift uh, plus F10. So it's going, to, it's going to give me this error. So uh, Python is case sensitive, you need to consider that. Uh, and then I guess uh, let's try also with the you know with the bytes. So with the bytes, I'm going to say what let me say uh, something like uh, B. You begin with a B for you know bytes, and then uh, you add a string here, like uh, let me say in Maya, or uh, let me use name tech, my brand name tech, uh, name tech. Hey name take name take underscore uh, ke that's my brand then i click on shift uh, plus what shift plus 15 
that is the shortcut to run these uh, you know uh, programs these statements in our in our terminal and then again you can see the data type is what is uh, you know a byte also let's try also with the you know uh, byte array so now with the byte array we are going to begin with what uh, we are going to begin with the you know byte array so let me say byte a uh, byte array a uh, byte array and then uh, let me give it something like uh, what uh, first of all uh, create this uh, you know call on the you know the normal brackets and then uh, like uh, when i give it something like uh, you know something like uh, 100 uh, and so guess uh, when i give it something like uh, 100 and then i click on the shift uh, plus f10 and then i guess here in our terminal you can see that uh, the you know data type is what is a uh, uh, byte array and then uh, the last one now is the you know the memory view now with the memory view you know data type we use what we use um, we use what to use a memory view memory view memory view and then uh, here you can add also the you know the data type actually you know the bytes you add uh, the bytes here let me say a uh, byte uh, let me say bytes let me use a byte here and then uh, let me create these uh, you know two what two brackets and then uh, let me give it uh, some uh, something like uh, and in, an integer like uh, let me give it uh, you know 20 let me give something like a 20 this time then i click on shift and then a plus what plus uh f10 and then i guess you can see here the data type is what is the you know uh, the memory view uh, and so guys i think by now you understand how to get what to get you know uh, the data types in python let's try also how to set a uh, data type like uh let me say uh, let me first of all clear everything here let me clear everything here and then i do it let me say something let me uh, begin with the string so now i'm going to say what let me first of all uh let me say create here uh, uh, x here then uh, let me assign it to uh let me say string let me say str for string and then i uh, open this uh, bracket and then uh, let me uh, type in my website again www dot uh, nametech nametech uh, nametech dot com uh, nametech dot com and then uh, now let's uh, here to display we are going to to use what we are going to use uh, to display we are going to use a print print function uh, to display x uh, and then I guess uh, to display the data type we are going to use what we are going to use a uh, print uh, print type so print actually print uh, print uh, uh, let me say print it then uh, here type a uh, type what type uh, and then i uh, do what let me create this one a uh, type for what let me say x and then i uh, do what click on shift uh, plus uh, f10 shift plus f10 and then uh, guys you can see here we have set what uh, this are uh, the you know uh, data types so basically guys uh, this is how you can do it this is how you can uh, set your you know your data type perhaps let me try also with an integer and then i uh, the rest you try by yourself let me try with an integer here like a uh, let me first of all clear this stuff uh, and then uh, let me say what let me say int uh, in for integer and then uh, let me create uh, something like uh, 100 and then i guess when you click on the shift uh, plus 18 then i guess you can see here it's what it is 100 uh, the data type is what is an integer so basically guys uh, this is how you can do it this is how you can set your you know your data type and so guess uh, if you want to specify data type in python uh, you can use this kind of you know uh, constructor functions so guess uh, you can practice you know with that uh, you know data types but i guess i just wanted to show you these uh, basics uh, but i guess i really appreciate you for your time and uh, if you find that uh, the video has been of help to you please consider subscribing and also like the video you can as well share it to your friend i'll appreciate it very very much and I guess until next time, goodbye.